Aloha. Today I wanted to share a few things um, and connect some dots uh, and also um, ask for some maybe uh, some some thoughts on the dreams and uh, some trends of dreams that I've been having recently that are um, they become obvious as something I need to address or at least um, speak about because uh, it's very trending it's been happening these last few um, few months and um, at least five or six times this has happened so I'll just share it and then I'll go on into what I'm talking about but um, the dream is uh, well the trend the style of the dream is I'll have a dream and it'll be whatever the dream is it'll be a, a dream where I remember it and then I wake up from the dream and then I go like I usually do and share this dream with um, my friends or family and then I realize that I'm in a dream again I'm still in a dream and then I realize that I'm in a dream while I'm telling them the dream that I just woke up from and I um, wake up again and then I'm here and then I have to do my daily routine you know take a shower and then go tell them again like hey I just had this dream um, so it's a trip that has been happening like this and I only share about 10% of my dreams because I have so many dreams I recall most of them um, to the depths of the detail every morning but this has been a trend and this has been um, like an, an, a, an addendum to uh, my normal dream recall and what has been um, happening when I started out just writing down my dreams and then started um, to record them, audio record them, and then uh, challenging myself to just remember them uh, and recall them and share them with with people but this is this is another layer it feels different in that dream and it feels more something is different with it and I just wanted to to bring that up and share that and then kind of tie it into um, the adjustments of our reality and the engagement of our our cosmic fields and what's happening on a political scale on a cultural scale on a conscious scale and even on a, a scientific and and um, awareness of our reality scale um, and uh, tie it into kind of like what's going on recently this was brought to my attention the Mandela effect and uh, the human anatomy um, was shared uh, uh, Byron Preston um, put this video together where he shares about how the the stomach is and the intestines are, are in different locations or seem to be in different locations and somebody else uh Chaldean cauldron Chaldean yeah Chaldean cauldron uh re redid it and um it mostly rang true for me like it feels like something is is there with that but what really uh pinged for me was when he referenced the the pineal gland and I reference the pineal gland in um, as far as uh, the engagement in our reality a few months back in a previous video to where uh, I was realizing that it has been pretty much completely removed from our books and our consciousness and when you um, compare it to like ancient Egypt uh, or Kemet and how it was not at all um, thrown to the side in fact it was like really really understood to the depths um, and to in, just even to understand it on a scientific level or a alchem alchemical level and then uh, you know that it's being uh, activated on a conscious scale just by uh, knowing that it exists first of all let alone 
um, having your connection with your dreams, having your connection with each other, knowing that um, it exists, and knowing that um, we are bigger, are, are bigger than than just this physical reality, and in down into our own anatomy. And when you're going to, on just a regular observational scale, seeing that it's removed from our anatomy books, it's removed from our school system, it's removed from our basic understanding of importance on a, on a collective scale, um, then you can see that we are pretty much just locked into a uh, very limiting uh, reality. And since people are talking about um, or realizing this kind of awakening within the flat earth um, the flat earth uh, realizations or not even just the flat or just the basic awareness that NASA's full of shit and all of the stuff that trickles down from that realization of control on a physical level scale political scale and a psychological and controlling scale the conditioning of our very consciousness and our engagement and our reality going into a political scale and a colon uh, colonial observation i was referencing how um <clears throat> this is the price per gram of melanin and the melanin uh is 353 dollars per gram and gold is only $53 per gram, 52 for platinum, silver is, um, I think it says 15 cents per gram, bronze, less than that. And how we've been literally locked into an Iron Age consciousness, so where we are existing and living the embodiment of... Uh, beyond a golden age experience beyond the platinum vibration our bodies are uh, literally locked into the cosmic grid the infinite space of reality and you can tie that into the black and brown persecution the eugenics program that has been institutionalized within the system itself and then you can tie that into the collective consciousness engaging or not engaging in the the the, the conscious consciousness field, the creation space of our human existence and that connection to the earth plane. And when you flip that upside down and, and jumble it around and tell people they're on a globe and then you enslave the kings and queens of this planet and tell them that they are slaves and come from monkeys and are basically uh, a cosmic mistake, then you are, in a sense, shutting down the uh, the connection, the gateway, that space that is a doorway to the the infinite, the, the cosmic creation, the source reality, the most high uh, uh, expression, your higher self. When you're shutting that down, then it will manifest into the physical reality and it has manifested here and I wanted to share this real quick is because this is a story that I was aware of a few years ago um, but this is the only one I can find online right now just real quick your pineal gland melanin and natural food interconnection this is in relation to um, the studies that scientists were doing on the soldiers um, that were in Vietnam and studying the pineal gland. So I'll read this real quick. Pineal gland, melanin, and natural foods. The difference among plant chlorophyll and your melanin is one magnesium molecule. Plants are able to convert sun energy into edible food for all life forms. Before the Vietnam War, scientists believed the pineal gland had no usage. It was found calcified in 80% of white people. They thought the pineal gland was there for nothing. If it had no usage in them and was presumed it had no use in African Americans. Then black soldiers were examined after death and the pineal gland was reported 70% active. The founding permitted scientists more future research opportunities. Uh, scientists 
permitted scientists more future research opportunities. Pineal gland is a gland that produces melanin. Wherever you have melanin in your physical structure, you are going to function differently than a person with little or no melanin. The grade of your melanin will help will help you to do things other people cannot do. When you begin to work with your melanin, you can begin to adopt a magnetic field, adapt to the magnetic field, electrical field, and organ energy. Without melanin, you cannot adapt to all three. You may adapt to only one, the lowest, which is the electrical field. So we have been, this goes into why things are the way they are, why the enslavement takes place, why um, the monkey evolution is um, repeated over and over again, and why um, things are changing now in relation to the Mandela effect to where the victimization consciousness of uh, the black and brown peoples on this planet is is trickling away, is dying now because we've been re we're realizing that it does exist. It has existed for a long time, and that we are actually, in fact, the opposite uh, expression of that. We are not victims. We are actually empowered individuals beyond uh, what we have been told we are. And um, just think about how the most cosmically high vibrating frequency individuals on a planet have been told that you are um you are nothing you are a monkey you come from a monkey you are your only future is technology and science we give you your future your whole reality is based upon what we tell you everything is in fact um, you won't even be able to uh, experience your reality without our say so. You can only vote. You can only uh, achieve any kind of um, dreams beyond beyond uh, within this experience from a monetary expression. And when you see that, that's all. Like this, this system is not just limited to NASA telling you that this place is a ball, and that uh, evolution is created to uh, get people in this uh, creative uh, or lack of creation connection and lack of purpose in this reality. When you go into understanding that the pineal gland has been removed from our conscious field for a reason. <clears throat> for just as much if not more of a, a reason of institutionalizing us into the heliocentric model of uh, existence and um, giving all our power away to uh, these falsities uh, it, it goes more into removing that power grid from the internal individual the soul, the spirit, and externalizing all of our existence into this big bang scientific mistake. Like when people realize that they are not a cosmic mistake, when they realize that they are empowered and directly connected with that source energy and directly an expression of the beyond the gold, beyond the platinum, into beyond the diamond um the diamond expressions of reality then that will in a sense and literally change the consciousness it will adjust the frequency it will adjust down your world it will change the world literally not just on a <laughs> on like a psychological or whatever scale but I would not be surprised at all to start seeing like this is referencing changes in the anatomy itself. If we are opening up a gateway that has been shut down by um, by psychological uh, um, owners in a sense and we have gotten out of that space of being owned and gotten into a space of uh, self-empowerment self-realization and awakening beyond and accessing our dreams um, then you can see that things like the anatomy itself and the world around us are going to change it's not just a matter of you know the 
the earth being flat or, or this and that. Like when our physical reality is adjusted and, and, and even experienced from the internal outward, not from the external inward. So if we keep approaching this, this um, experience from the scientific provings of this and that, then this goes into what I was saying in a few videos before that we could be stepping into another trap of control because the flat earth itself is on the on the United Nations uh, flag. So they already know about this, that they already know about that, that what my my um, my focus really goes on to what they are not speaking about and what we are not speaking about and realizing from an internal perspective like the melanated, the persecution of the, the melanated people on this planet, the black and brown people, the colonization of the entire, uh, not only the body, but the mind. And it it doesn't go into only just black and white, like I'm saying like this. This is, if you go into Dr. Edward Bruce Bynum's um, story of uh, dark light consciousness, then you go into understanding the neuromelanin, which is the melanin of that isn't really reflective of your your skin tone but is the actual melanin that is within the the, the cosmic melanin of the pineal gland and, and how you um how you are activating your experience on a soul level that melanin um because there are people who are who are um highly melanated on the on their on their largest organ and their skin cells, but not, but completely in a, uh, in a, uh, separated experience, uh, on an experiential level, just like not at all engaged in, um, in that creative process. And as a whole, we can see how that has affected us. And, and when you shut down, um, an entire group of highly vibrating, high uh high frequency individuals as a whole you shut down that 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 melanated uh frequency from uh, from experiencing that reality and going through that gateway going through that doorway of of self realization and and have convinced convinced them that they are actually of an iron expression an iron age reality then <laughs> below the bronze below the silver then yes it will manifest as uh, adjusting the physical reality <clears throat> and um down to our very anatomy so we can see it from the pineal gland pineal gland being calcified and why uh there's fluoride in the water why there's um, um genetically modified foods and I wouldn't be surprised if the chemtrails are directly involved in the same process of fluoridating the water. Uh, we're talking about frequencies here, so if you if you can calcify the if they if individuals will calcify the the brain or the 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 pineal gland and fill your body with fluoridated water and actually shower your body with fluoridated water, then I wouldn't be surprised that that the chemicals that are coming out of the sky are a type of fluoridation in the air and um, it has to be addressed as such like it's not as simple as um, black and white or a checker game or, or uh, even the chess game the chess board this is this is a it's not a flat or round thing this is this is into how we're creating our reality the politics itself, the colonialization of this land itself, of our minds, our psychology, um, what has happened here, the inner outward, not the outer inner. That we have to present we have to present ourselves in this in this reality as such. Otherwise we will um, we will only fall into a limited reality. So if I wouldn't be surprised at all that our very anatomy is shifting if we can already understand that our pineal gland has shifted um, from size and now flipping that script and realizing things um, then yes 
it will adjust our uh, physical reality as a whole so I just wanted to share that and um, kind of get that stream of thought rolling um, into my next video or even into conversations for other people um, to share and add to because this is um, in my opinion more more uh, more important than just the NASA talk we start talking about and understanding how how the uh, persecution of the individuals on this planet from the internal space uh, to the out external space is very locked into how we are experiencing this reality flat earth the Mandela effect and all this other stuff um, then that would be a more organic way of approaching this uh, this realization this so-called this this awakening that's happening um, and it will be less uh, compromised or subject to uh, manipulations by controllers or so-called powers that be that um, are obviously doing doing some dirt to uh, keep people in this Iron Age consciousness in this this low vibrating separated self-destructive illusion uh, and the the melanin as a whole is um, activating in in everybody and our connections with the sun and the moon and the earth plane itself is all uh, directly connected into it if we're talking about the location of the sun and uh, with the flat earth uh, science and we're talking about the sun kissed individuals on a physical and a cosmic scale so we have to be aware of these realities and uh, understand and tie in this storyline beyond just the political understanding of it and the scientific understanding of it, but the conscious cosmic understanding of how we're engaged in creating this reality. So I'll leave it there. And uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, please leave some comments below if anything, anybody has anything for the dreams or actually anything really. So, until next time, peace, love, and harmony.